Welcome to your Theravive tutorial on how to update my information. In this section, you'll be able to change your personal information. The first section that you'll go to is your professional information. This is where you can add your title, your designations, as well as your email address that your referrals will go to. Individuals will not see that email, but that's where your referrals through your contact form will be sent to. And then you can also enter in a website address here. The next section is your primary office location. If you've purchased additional locations with us, there's a few further tutorial on how to add those locations. Here's where you put your main office location. We also have the section called your custom display information. This is where your primary promotional is. This is the result that individuals will get if they search with the term counseling, counselor, therapist, therapy, and your location. So it's a generic bit of information about your counseling practice. Down below, we have the marriage counseling promotional, and this is information if they were to use the term marriage counseling and your location in a search result. A lot of results come in with that qualifier, and so it's important if you do work in this area to make sure that's filled out. And then if you do not, please go ahead and check this box here, which will help you filter out those search results. If you check that box, you will not be found for marriage counseling. You also have the ability here to choose if you want to put information about your session fees, and then you can turn off your contact form in this section here. Uh, if you go on furlough or maternity leave, just enter information in here, and that will cause people to not be able to send a message to you. If you want to be addressed as a doctor, you can go ahead and check this box here and that will be added to your profile. And then down here we have your primary areas of practice. In a further section, you'll see we have marketing tools and there's an additional 13 search terms that you can write information on. And those are previously chosen by Google telling us what people are most commonly searching by. If you want to mention terms with regards to your practice that are not listed there, please enter them in here. You have unlimited ability. You can enter types of therapy, um, issues that people might come to, demographics that you work with, um, again, specific types of therapy that might be beneficial for people to see about your practice. And then if you work in e-counseling, this is our section here where you can check this box and uh, for no additional fee, be listed in our list of e-counselors. You wanna enter in a little bit of information down here about your e-counseling practice, as well as choosing the methods that you, you actually perform your e-counseling by. And then once you're done this page, please make sure that you click the update personal information button. I would actually encourage you to click that button frequently, frequently throughout um, putting information in there. You want to see that it said successfully save personal information. Sometimes your computer can time out, especially if you're doing things in between sessions, and we want to make sure that you don't lose that information. So just please continue to click the save button. And uh, thank you for viewing this tutorial on how to update my information. There are additional tutorials on how to fill out the other aspects of your profile.